Freestyle the Ch news. Uh. My check. I don't fuck with July 4th Felt a little short here when it was 5-4 Now it's 6-3 baby with a messed up score Said every Karen leering at you from a beat up Porsche Set up the rules Sue my court, call it justice How much of it you buy for? Shipped off to vacation, maybe do five tours So they can tell you why their life is keeping your eyes pure Oh, that's the way it is That's the way it is That's the way it is my people got the picket signs out of theme parks Free speech advocates who banning your free art Twitter activism just a clash of the lead parts I should say hi, Kiki man gotta speak hard So off base, maybe our culture ain't really that post-race Maybe you throwing shit up on stage at Drake All these motherfuckers with a follow count pushing up a bad hot take Like Anna, put it on camera, call that shit values Go and get your cash up, if you really have to Limit how to scroll through, taking most of the people off Twitter Gets you right that they vote blue it gets hot in America while they're trying to turn it down If you check as a Redditor, you edit your own shit And you get bombed over censorship Cause it's all about the grievance and the heart of the messages It don't make no sense Am I too meta here when I tweet on threads? France got rioters cause they shot this man All these dumb cunts tweet images saying This is what you get with my grits Man Y'all pick a fence wasps, arguments sink just like a DreamWorks flop Oh shit, Indy can't even take that shot What the fuck is happening in Hollywood? Get him the cocaine that the White House got It's all chopped for the brand, ain't nobody really have a plan Fake an apology in the pocket to scan But the acting on cam that's worse than the weekend Yo, radioactive up in the first wave Tom Cruise stunting percentages on the first take Earthquake, everybody trying to make the right choice Let's keep throwing water on the fire when you fall out, boy Hold up Oh too soon Oh man, it's been like a minute, right? Hey, 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 thank you guys so much for watching Freestyle the News. If you like what you heard, please capture that like button. Matter of fact, why don't you go on a quest to capture all of the like buttons? That's right. You go across the entire planet and you just capture like button after like button. But you're not just capturing them. You're becoming friends with them. You're developing bonds with them as you have your like buttons battle other like buttons. Now I know what you're thinking. Hey, isn't that a lot like cockfighting? And you're right. It is, it is exactly like that. But it's also the best selling game franchise. Uh, uh, of all time. Um, who's the real villain here? It's not Ash. As you guys know, I took Sunday off. Before we get into the breakdown, I want to say a couple things. First off, Spotify. You need to leave. I am very clearly late <laughs> on updating the Spotify. Very clearly. If you don't know, in addition to Freestyle the News, I also do all the music for Evo every single year. Evo is the biggest fighting game tournament in the world, but I'm pretty much supervising the music for all the games again this year, and it's a super big honor, and it's a lot of work. Because at the beginning of June, a lot of changes were happening with this channel, and uh, Rick, uh, the general manager, called me and was like, hey, so, uh, so how's that album going? And I was like, oh, oh. I will say that this year is going a lot smoother than last year, and I think if we keep the momentum, this is probably gonna be a better project than last year's. And last year's project is insane. So, I've been working on that, but I do need to update the Spotify. And I promise I will have an update for you in the coming days. I will keep you up to date, but that's literally just what's going on. I'm rendering out the masters and working on this enormous event project. So that's why I'm so all over the place. But anyway, let's get into this breakdown already. Why the fuck are we waiting? We do have a lot to talk about today, including the Supreme Court, but let's start with Twitter because that's kind of a massive thing. Because if you didn't notice all of your friends posting a small square of another social media profile for you to follow them at, I'm here to tell you that Meta just announced their giant Twitter rival, Threads. This has been in the works for a long fucking time. Meta has kind of made it no secret that they are trying to compete with Twitter. And while everybody, including myself, was like, okay, yeah, another app that Mark Zuckerberg is trying to clone for his toolkit. Okay, yeah, sure. Let me know when the metaverse works. But in a crazy twist of fate, uh, the rollout was actually pretty fucking smart. I'm not the only one who thought the rollout was pretty good because millions of people, I think around 10 million people, joined Threads as of last night. That's crazy quick. Now, look, I will say this before I got to do freestyle the news full time. I worked in social media marketing and I know social media really well. And I'm sure you've been hearing pundits say, oh, will threads kill Twitter? What's the difference between threads and Twitter? Let me actually break it down from somebody who's worked in that industry's perspective. And I have to say, even removing Elon from the equation, Twitter has a little bit to be worried about here. So number one, like I said, let's take Elon out of the equation. Let's just look at Twitter. The language design of Twitter 
isn't great. The entire site's visual design is compressed, so it feels like you only have like a little bit to say. It's very quick, but everything on Twitter, including its font choices, including the way it's laid out on desktop, on, 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 it just feels like small and compressed, so you have to get something out, but people in the media use it for large scale threads. So that's where it leads to a lot of those like social cultural problems like, oh, people seem really snippy on Twitter. It's like a giant echo chamber. I don't know how threads is gonna turn out to be, but I will say from jump, immediately an improvement. First off, the entire design language of that app is open. You feel open to talk. The character limit is also larger. And if you look how things are laid out between people talking on threads, there's this little like little black line that just connects posts. And because of the minimalist design, it's easy to kind of like connect people having a discussion. If you're thinking that I'm thinking too deep about this, I'm not. Everything on these apps like matters. There's a reason that TikTok uses Proxima Nova font and that if you used that font on TikTok videos a couple years ago, you got substantially more results. I know because I did that and then I got this job. So that's number one. Number two, the sign up process is so much easier and you carry over your following. This solves those two immediate pain points of like, okay, you don't have to worry about carrying over your following because it's just your Instagram following pulled over and you can just immediately follow all the same people as soon as they join. The other great part about this is it actually solves a problem with Instagram. The biggest issue people had with posting on Instagram is the culture became very, very akin to, oh, you have to have a really nice, unique, built up photo to really post on there often and interact. And now that is optional. They had reframed that cultural standard through that app's inherent user base and they've just cut out that problem. Number three, it is easier. I like threads better. It's very clear. Like, like it's, it's a better app. But number three is because the video integration, so much better, so much better. Videos can be natively vertical or square or horizontal. That's huge because with the five minute time limit, you can cross post from other social media apps way easier. So all of that integration is super solid. And again, we're not even talking about Elon yet, but by the way, he's not on threads. That is a huge plus, but let's not talk about him. Let's, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's not talk about Elon. Here's the issue though. Uh, threads for you page isn't super great yet. It's, it's, it's just a bunch of mishmash of people you're not following and a few people you are following, people who you do follow show up there a little bit more often. But that main scroll is kind of just like a giant algorithm right now, which is a little bit messy, but with the nature of the app and how it's evolving, that seems like a small pain point that can very easily be addressed. And it's been said that they are technically addressing it. So look, I'll be very real. And I've had a lot of issues with Twitter. Not because I want Twitter to fail, it's because Twitter needs to make certain changes and they're not making any of the changes they need to be to be like an actually competitive app while having an outsized amount of influence on our culture. Threads made all those changes, like from jump. It is a better mousetrap and people are frustrated because after months of saying like, hey, where the fuck are you gonna go? Who else is gonna be Twitter? It's not gonna be fucking Hive. You're gonna go to Mastodon? Fuck Mastodon, what are you gonna do? Here it is. Here is the easiest, quickest way to build an app through an existing app, through an app that is used way more than Twitter with the entire intent to be less stressful and dramatic than Twitter. I think there are still huge privacy concerns with Meta. I think there are still huge issues all around. But overall, Twitter has to step its fucking game up. I don't know if Threads is gonna be the thing that kills it, but I do know it's gonna be the thing that tells it, hey, you can't fuck around anymore. Or you can and then, you know, lose everything. Okay, so while my cats scream at me, let's move on to the Supreme Court. If you hadn't heard or if you didn't see last week's episode, the Supreme Court apparently has been passing a lot of really fucking insane decisions. A lot of messy, stupid decisions. So like they'll save democracy and then they'll gut affirmative action. I was really aggressive on the affirmative action thing and I will admit it is a band-aid on a fucking bone fracture. But the LGBTQ discrimination case is insane. The Supreme Court ruled in favor of this woman, Lori Smith, who did not want to design a wedding website for a gay couple with them overturning precedent to make discrimination against gay couples completely legal. Like a fucking, like stupid, just discrimination in general legal. And the worst part of it is the person at the center of that case, the, the supposed gay couple, wasn't a gay person. It was a guy who had never even asked her for a website. He's a web designer himself, married to a woman. This lady just created a scapegoat, a bullshit case, 
to overturn precedent and make it okay to discriminate against gay people. And I don't know how many times the Supreme Court has to start shit in order for people to be like, okay, you wanna lose this next election cycle? But this seems like one of those times. Look, it is a batshit decision. It is a batshit decision. I watch kind of both debates from like all the kind of like little sides. I try not to stay on just my algorithm. I, I tried to see it and there seems to be a lot of like, ooh, that, that discrimination thing's a, a lot. And if you look at that article earlier in the video that Axios posted about how Americans feel about morals and family and traditional values, those are down. People are exhausted by this culture war bullshit. And how can they not be? This has been going on since the fucking Iraq war, since the 80s. But honestly, the Supreme Court and the Republicans have been playing this game with people's rights and livelihoods for a culture war election cycle so much, I think people are just fucking tired of it. And if that Twitter echo chamber goes away, they have to reset the way they think about everything. The more the Supreme Court kind of derides its own credibility, the less people are willing to put up with both sides and shit. And to be honest, after Roe v. Wade, after this, after affirmative, bro, it's 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 not looking good. Either pack the court and post term limits or uh or vote all those motherfuckers who have jobs out. I don't think anybody's happy with you motherfuckers. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining us for another episode of Freestyle the News. We're gonna be back here again Sunday. New merch drop coming soon, and yes, I will update the Spotify, I promise. I love you guys, and I'll see y'all soon. Let's go!